What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Lisa Elizabeth coming to you guys with another What I Eat in a Day to Gain Healthy Weight video. So if you guys are looking to gain a few extra pounds or just increase your intake in a healthier way, please keep watching. today I'm gonna eat a bagel and a um, bowl full of fruit it's very important guys to get your protein and your carbs in when you are trying to gain weight I don't care what no one says you have to eat carbs in order to gain weight but I try to eat clean carbs so I have whole wheat organic bagels and I'm gonna go ahead and pop one of these in the oven and I just put mine straight on the rack because I like it to be a little crispy Sometimes I add olive oil. Olive oil just increase the calories. Um, olive oil is also a good carb to add to food just to um, increase the calorie intake. Alrighty guys, now I'm about to start on my spinach and cheese omelet. I'm gonna add a little olive oil to the pan. It's a good substitute for butter. And then I have this baby spinach. I just grab a, a small handful, about this much. Rinse that off. I like to break off the stems. You don't have to do this, but I do this when I make my omelets. I just peel it off. Let me turn the camera down a little bit so y'all can see. There's fries, scramble, and an omelet. I try to at least eat three eggs because I don't eat meat in the morning. So, this would be considered my protein. So, I try to make sure I eat at least three eggs every morning for breakfast. These are the three seasonings that I like to use. Pink Himalayan salt, pepper, and then cayenne. Cause I like my stuff a little spicy. blueberry cream cheese on top of there and then I'm gonna add a little salsa to my omelet alrighty guys so breakfast is served I have my carbs my protein and then I have fruit on the side as well and then I'm also gonna pour me a glass of orange juice and then that's gonna complete my breakfast I would say this breakfast will round up to about 800 calories give or take I try to eat about 3,500 calories a day just to intake more I know a lot of people only try to intake 2000 but being that I'm trying to gain weight I have to eat more so yeah this is a pretty solid breakfast I'm about to eat this and then I will see you guys when I'm about to head to the gym because I make a protein shake then alrighty guys so I'm about to head to the gym and before I go to the gym I always make sure I drink a protein shake and eat right after so I'm gonna use three simple ingredients protein um, frozen mangoes and orange juice nothing too major 
And I'm using this personal blender and like I fill it up to probably about here and blend it and then this is my protein shake so it helps me measure out everything pretty well. I put about eight chunks of mango in here. And then I'm gonna use orange juice because I like my stuff to taste a little fruity. You can use almond milk or whatever. There are a bunch of different protein recipes online. You just have to figure out what you like. And I like my stuff a little fruity, so I use juices instead of like almond milk. So, and then I just do two big scoops of my protein powder. So yeah, I'm using weed protein powder, the vanilla kind. protein shake this is probably about 600 calories or more um, I'm gonna drink this on my way to the gym and then when I get back I'll show y'all what I eat for lunch all right guys so I just got back home from the gym and I'm about to eat my lunch um, it is vital that you eat right after working out because when you're working out you're burning calories and you need to replace those calories so I am going to um, eat lunch so yeah, I went ahead and boiled my egg because I'm about to make tuna. Boil one egg, I'm gonna crack it and I'm only going to cut up the egg white. I'm not gonna put the yellow uh, yolk in my tuna. All right, so I have my hard boiled egg chopped up. I have bell peppers because I like my tuna kind of crunchy. I have one pack of tuna. I like the lemon pepper flavor. All right, I'm gonna do one big scoop of relish. And then one big scoop of um, organic mayo with olive oil in it. So my tuna's done, super easy, right? I'm gonna make two tuna sandwiches. Um, I am using sprouted whole grain. So I, I like to add a little more mayo. And then I'm gonna add a couple pieces of spinach. All right, so after I add my spinach, then I'll just put my tuna on top of that. Just enough to make about two sandwiches. It looks so good. And then as my side, I'm gonna eat about a cup full of pistachios. And this is my lunch, guys. Alrighty guys, so I'm about to eat my lunch, shower, chill a bit, and then I will be back on the camera for dinner time. What's poppin' y'all? So it's dinner time. I have my pot of water boiling for my spaghetti noodles. So I usually use whole wheat pasta grains or veggie grains, but I went to the store early and Walmart didn't have any and I really didn't feel like going anywhere else. So I just picked up regular spaghetti noodles. So we're gonna use these. But um, as I said before, you can use whole wheat or veggie noodles for a more healthier option. And I'm just cooking for me. This is probably gonna last me like two days. So I'm just gonna get a handful of spaghetti noodles and then break them in half. Okay, so while the spaghetti noodles are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and bread my chicken, thin it out and all of that. So I am using three chicken breasts. And it's probably gonna be about six after I cut them in half. So I'm making Parmesan crusted chicken. I ate this earlier this week and it was so good, so I'm gonna cook it again. The chicken breast is fairly thin, but we're gonna thin it out even more. So this is how you want your chicken breast to look. season it with a little complete and this is kind of like a seasonal all-purpose seasoning all right now I'm just gonna crack one egg put it in there 
All right, so I'm gonna dip the chicken breast in the eggs. And then I'm gonna use the Italian breadcrumbs. top on medium to low heat it doesn't have to be really high with olive oil all right now I'm about to start on the asparagus I'm gonna cut off the ends of it all right, I'm gonna drizzle a little olive oil on them. Then I'm gonna add a little salt and lemon pepper. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the asparagus in the oven at 350. Now I'm gonna add the spicy marinara sauce to the chicken breast. I'm just gonna top it with mozzarella cheese. All right, and I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 10 minutes. All right, so I just took my Parmesan crusted chicken out of the oven and I have my spaghetti noodles here. I'm gonna drizzle a little olive oil on them. All righty guys, so my camera ended up dying, but this is how the food looks. So the asparagus just came out. And then this is the Parmesan crusted chicken. And then this is my plates. All right, so I have my protein, I have my carbs, and then I have my vegetables. So the three key ingredients to, or the three key elements to a balanced meal when trying to gain weight. All right, guys, so I'm about to go ahead and eat my dinner. I really hope this video was helpful to anyone looking to gain a few extra pounds or just looking to increase their intake when it comes to food and looking for more healthier options. Thank you guys so much for watching and until the next video, bye babes.